In this segment, we're going to take a look at the traveling tools, and they're found up here on your toolbar that has the zoom and the hoop selections, and this is your traveling tools right here. Now simply put, these tools will help you to view the different objects of your design, and I guess the easiest thing would be to go ahead and open up an embroidery design, so I'll choose open and browse for the embroidery album that was installed with the digitizer software and just choose a simple design like this beach design. Say OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the visualizer off. That way it's a little bit more easy for us to see um, which objects as we travel through them. Now, these are the tools here. So basically these are the arrows that say forward and backwards. And so you can travel in your design forwards or backwards, and then you have different choices. The first choice is to jump by object. The second choice is to jump by color. And the third object choice is to jump by start and end of the design. So for example, if I choose start end of the design, and I go backwards, everything turns black, and my needle moves to the very beginning of the design and it's black representing that it has not yet been sewn. So we've actually traveled to the beginning of our design and this little um, square in a square, it represents the current needle position. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and see I'm still on jump start end of the design and if I jump forward, I jump to the end of the design and now everything's been shown in color and here's my needle sitting here at the very end of the design. That's where this design finishes sewing. So I'm going to jump back to the beginning of the design, and now I'm going to change the option to jump by color. So when I choose jump by color, and now if I go forward, it shows me that it sews the blue first, and now my needle's sitting at the end of the first color. Click again. It shows the brown second, and here's my needle sitting at the end of the brown color. The next color is yellow. There's your needle. Then we have dark blue, and then we have the red. And so there's the needle, and I'm now back at the end of the design. And so I could go backwards by color, forwards by color, or switch back to the start end of the design, jump back to the beginning again. And this time we'll travel by object. So instead of jumping a whole color, it'll just jump one object at a time. And so if I say forward, there's the first object, and there's my needle. Forward, there's the second object and there's my needle and I go forward 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 and I can go through all of the objects in this design and see exactly how they sew so those are the traveling tools now they have a lot of functions and it would be difficult to really start to talk about all of them in this one um, segment but I'm just going to give you some ideas of how you could use these so for example this here is select while traveling and it's basically an on off button so for example if I say jump to the start of the design jump to the start then I'm going to turn my select while traveling button on and I'm going to move to jump by object and I'm going to start going forward so there's the first object and see it selected it click forward selected another object click forward again another one and so it just keeps selecting objects as I travel forward. So if I wanted to select all of a, a group of objects, and maybe this is a little bit of a simple design, imagine if it was a flower inside of a cluster of flowers and you wanted to select just a one specific flower. And so you traveled backwards to the beginning of the objects of your flower, then you turn your select while traveling on and you travel forward through those objects until you reach the last one and now you've basically created a a cluster of objects that you selected and you could you know use them copy them paste them you know modify them however you wanted to so that's why the select while traveling tool is on and basically I need to remember to turn it off otherwise it's just gonna keep selecting and the other thing too is if I want to move forward in my design and I want to start creating you know new embroidery it's very important to remember to return to the end of the design and I say that because sometimes you want to insert something in between colors. And this is one way you could do it. So that's another way to use this toolbar. So for example, I'm set on jump start end of the design. Let's jump to the beginning. 
then let's just imagine that we needed to insert something in between two objects. So, um, I don't know. Let's just travel forward. Oops, that's the end of the design. Sorry, travel backwards to the beginning of the design. Jump by object, one object. There's my needle sitting right there. Let's go to the end of the next object. There's my needle sitting there. Let's go to the end of the next object. There's my needle sitting there. Now, I'm going to zoom in really closely right there. And I can see that what's blue has already been stitched, and what's black is what's going to come next. Well, maybe I wanted to insert something in between those. Now, because my needle is sitting right here, if I digitize an object right now, that's where it's going to go, right at where my needle is, or after that needle point. So I guess, as an example, um, I could draw a shape. And I'll just go ahead and digitize some kind of a shape like that. Well, it can be any shape, really doesn't matter. And when I hit enter, this shape is now right in between that object and this object. Now maybe I could choose reshape and move my exit point to kind of line up here with the beginning and connects everything back together again. And so now if I zoom out, travel by object. So did you see what I did there? I inserted a new object and I inserted it right into its place in the sequence by using the traveling tools. Now, there's always more than one way to do this type of editing and I could have created this new object and then resequenced it using the resequence toolbar. So there's different ways that you can insert something. Um, so that was one of the reasons why you could use this traveling toolbar, and like I said, there's quite a few of them, and um, they're often in that sort of advanced editing techniques where you where you find these toolbars. So the more comfortable you get with the software, the more imaginative you'll be able to become with how you can use it. So one more thing about the traveling toolbar that I haven't shown, and that's the slow redraw function. So I'm going to turn on slow redraw right now, and I'll just need to bring this little um, window. So this is what opens up. When I clicked on the slow redraw tool, I got a slow redraw box. And basically here I have a couple of options. First of all, um, I can have it hide the, Im the embroidery before um, it stitches it. And I can have it auto scroll, which means I could zoom in really close and it would move with my hoop. So I'll turn both those options on. And I have my speed option. Now if I say play, goes to the beginning of the design and here it is I'm watching the design sew on my screen and so it's really just like the sewing machine um, except for you're able to proof it a lot quicker now I'm set right now at 40 stitches per second but I can turn that up I can scroll that up to be several hundred stitches a second and look how much faster it's sewing now but it's one great way that you can proof your designs before you actually take them to the machine would be to use the slow redraw function to watch them stitch on your screen. Now it's finished already and if I turn that auto scroll off, I'll just show you the difference. If I was to, let's say, I'll close this, if I zoom in over a part of the design somewhere close like this and then I turn on the slow redraw and I don't have auto scroll, it will actually sew outside of the screen. I can't see it because we're zoomed in so close. But if I stop, turn on auto scroll, and start it now, it actually scrolls. Well, it's going very quickly, so it's hard to swatch. So I'll turn it down a little bit. But when it's auto scroll, it'll move with your, it'll move the screen with the embroidery so that you can watch it sew a little bit more closely. Anyway, that's the slow redraw function, and it's found right here on your traveling toolbar. And one more thing I should point out about the slow redraw is if you have Visualizer turned on and you're in that three-dimensional appearance, the slow redraw function won't work. You can open up the box, but nothing works. It's all grayed out. And it's not until you turn Visualizer off that you're able to fully use the slow redraw tools. So that's the traveling tools and how you can use the traveling tools to browse through the objects or colors of your embroidery designs.